Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said the cognac. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. And welcome back to Cognac's Corner. In another moment, we will be watching another fabulous video but first don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always press the notification button to let you know when i will be publishing a new video and also darlings don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what you think about my videos and what other type of videos you'd like me to make let's get to the video pink champagne kisses That's happening next week. Well, we open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, July 11 to 14. The Hamptons Fine Art Fair, the largest fair ever in the Hamptons. 150 exhibitors from wow. 20 countries around the world. Wow. It's about $300 million of art, 600 artists. We expect about 10 to 11,000 guests. Amazing, amazing. It's actually now one of the largest events in the United States. Now, Cindy told me that you're having a white party. A white, a white party. I, when is well, that? We're white, not pink now. No, I am. So Tell I am. us. So oh, it's Saturday. Well, we also have a dancer who is Anika, Anika Ria, and she's in a white leotard. She dances in paint, and she's going to do an abstract painting starting in white leotards. When she's finished, she's not in white. <laughs> when does that start? That's going to be when you get there. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Rick, tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about your event. It's the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, www.hamptonsfineartfair.com. The tickets are available. Come on down. We Opening night's July 11, Thursday night. It's going to be 3,000 guests. It's outrageous. We actually have a dance. We have a an internationally famous dance troupe, dancing. Parsons Dance is going to come and dance down the aisles at 3.30 and 8 o'clock. Never been done before. I can't That's wait. Outrageous. That's outrageous. I can't wait. Yeah. Rick, let's do an air kiss. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back, darlings. More guys. interviews in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Welcome to Art Country, the 2023 edition of the Hamptons Fine Art Fair was a rousing success despite being forced to close three hours early on Sunday due to the worst tropical storm in 15 years to hit the east end of Long Island. Nevertheless, the fair established itself as the best attended and most prominent cultural event in the Hamptons. Over 12,000 pre-registered and a substantial 8,500 affluent, art-loving Hamptonites perused the displays presented by a record 140 exhibitors over the four days. 
All in all, over $10 million in art transactions were generated at the fair. In addition, a record 130,000 unique visitors carefully viewed the gallery web pages on the fair's popular website. And do this. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. We're here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, and I'm here with these two fabulous artists. And this is one of their sculptures. Isn't this amazing? Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, my name is Dylan Smith, here with Love's Gallery, hailing from West Hollywood, California, and I'm a huge, huge fan of Cognac Weller Lane. Yes, of course, darling. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Contini, the owner of Love's Gallery. I am the pop artist here, local in the Hamptons, my best friend Dylan Smith, and we are here to show you what we're doing to the Hamptons Fine Art for 2024. Now tell my audience, this heart behind us, this is amazing, and of course the sculpture. Tell us the story behind the heart and the sculpture. So my career started in Tribeca. I um, painted 1,057 hearts one year and started to be called the pop artist. Now I give back to charity. This one here is going to the American Heart Association. 20% of the sale goes to the American Heart Association, and we love you, by the way. I love you too. Now tell us about this sculpture that you did. So these are doodles that I've been cutting out for the last 10 to 15 years. And um, I thought making textiles on mannequins was a cool use of them. Um, and um, they're all derived from my childhood. I've been drawing the same sort of women figures that look like you. They look like Barbie. They look like Barbie. They look like glamour. They look like exuberance. and. Um, yeah, it's a new, different mixed media realm for me. How long did it take you to put this together? A couple weeks, yeah. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, behind the sculpture is a painting called Swifty, Taylor Swift. Um, it's going to Miami. So to all the Swifties in the world, I did a piece dedicated to Taylor Swift, and it's sold. It's going to Miami tomorrow. You're gorgeous. Now tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about your gallery. www.jennifercantini.com Gorgeous. And you as an artist, all, you want to see all your work. Where can we go? Instagram is probably best. Dancer Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N. You're gorgeous. I you. love you. I'm so happy to see you. Mwah. Mwah. Two kisses in France. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here at Hamptons Fine Art Fair. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Lane. We're here at the Persis Gallery. I'm here with one of the artists, and I'm loving your artwork. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm Matt Stock. I'm a pop artist and I'm with the Perseus Gallery in New York City. I love it. I love the pop art. I just, I, I love it. It's so Barbie-ish. <laughs> do people tell you that? Well, I, I do a lot of work inspired by the old comic books from the yes. 1960s and 1970s. Um, especially there's one in the corner there that's uh, taken from the 70s romance style of comic book. Just beautiful. How, how many pieces of artwork do you have here? I have four pieces on display here, and I, I brought uh, most of them with a beach theme since it's a Hampton show. Yes, perfect. Perfect for the Hamptons. Absolutely perfect. What do you think of the Hamptons Fine Art Fair? Do you like it? I love it here. I love this show. It's the first time doing it. There's been a, a great crowd, and they seem to really like my work. Did you sell anything yet? I've sold a few prints, but I haven't sold any artwork yet. Well, good luck to you. I hope you sell something amazing. Amazing. Can we follow you? Do you have a website? Uh, yes, I do. It's mattstockpaintings.com. Spell it. M-A-T-T-S-T-O-C-K paintings.com. Gorgeous. Let's do an air kiss. More interviews right here in the Hamptons, darlings. Pick champagne kisses. Well, 
Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane, and we're here at the Persis Gallery. And I'm here with the gallery owner. Introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, my name is Renat Safin. I am the owner of Persis Gallery. Our gallery is uh, six years old. We are in uh, Soho, New York, and uh, but we have our walls as a gallery only one year and next month in August we have an anniversary of our gallery birthday and we want to invite everybody to our big event on the end of uh, August. The end of August, interesting, and that's going to be in Soho? Yes, yeah, Soho 456 West Broadway. Fabulous. Now, is this the first time you're showing your artwork here at this Hamptons Fine Art Fair? Yeah, this is first time. We came here first time, but uh, before we did about 30 different art fairs like Art Basel Miami, Art Expo New York, Sofa Chicago. So we are professional in this our business. Your artwork is amazing. You have a lot of uh, paintings here in this booth. How many paintings do you have here? Uh, here we have six artists. Uh, five of them are from the USA and one of them is from Israel. Interesting. Interesting. What, do you, what do you think of the Hamptons Fine Art Fair? Do you like showing your artwork here? Yes. Uh, it is amazing art fair. To my mind the organizers of this fair, they did a lot of work and they did everything high professionally and as an uh, exhibitor, I, I want to say them thank you so much. So they, they did a lot of work. They certainly did. It's, an, it's like the biggest art fair, I think, in the Northeast. Maybe the whole Eastern Seaboard. Yes, it is the biggest, I think, that uh, there is about 150 galleries. Amazing. Amazing, yes, really. And as a professional, I can compare. And I see that they did very great fair. And uh, maybe I can confirm only with Red, uh, with uh, Art Basel Miami yeah, only. Well, I love Miami. I went to uh, Art Basel and I really enjoyed that. That was so amazing. I love the art scene. I love the paintings. I love the sculptures. It truly, truly is beautiful. And your gallery is really gorgeous. The paintings are just gorgeous and so diversified, really, very diversified. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information? Do you have a website? Sorry? Do you have a website? Yes, of course. Uh, www.pirsilsgallery.com. Uh, Easy. Gorgeous. Let's do an air kiss. Yeah. Mwah. 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 We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here in the Hamptons. Pick champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. We're here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, and I'm here at Fay Gold Gallery, and I'm talking to the artist, Lucy Cookson. Am I, is that correct? That's correct. Tell us about your artwork. This is amazing. Your artwork is just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Explain to my audience about this painting that we're looking at right behind us. What was the inspiration for that? Well, I have a magic um, association with dragonflies and bugs of all kind. Um, Klaus Hoey, who's one of our local painters from East Hampton, who is not alive anymore, but he was, I knew him for so long and he did a whole watercolor series all of which I've sort of tried to do myself. And um, that, that was from a few years ago, and now I'm doing these big dragonflies that are much larger and give a m much broader context in which I can apply all my flowers and um, nonsense in them. And it's it's beautiful nonsense, so it's fun. beautiful. It's a lot of fun because I always come up with another design for them. It's really fun. How long did it take you to create this? This took about a month and a half. That's all? Some people tell me it takes years. 
Oh, not me. I work pretty fast. You're pretty quick. You're yeah. pretty quick. It's just beautiful. It's I've so been very lucky. We pretty much sell what we make, so it was very nice. How did you meet up with Maggie? Well, Mago used Mago. to work. We, we used to work in a gallery where I, I did a lot of purchasing because I have a very good collection of my own. Which he used to work people. with Richard Amato. Yes, exactly. RJD Gallery and Amago one day brought me a little teeny weeny tiny painting that I bought and so he could place it. But he just wanted to see what my house was like putting all these paintings. And it was fun. How many pieces of art are you showing here in this booth? We have about eleven. And they're mostly big pieces. And um, we've sold a couple of things and taken them off well, the wall. I would actually. think you would sell a whole bunch because your paintings well, are we're ad gorgeous. We're getting there. People, you know, sometimes jump right in and sometimes they wait. So. Well, they have to make sure that they have the finances for it. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. That's what it is. It's well, not because they don't like it, it's because they want to high. worry about their finances to, to buy it, right. to purchase it. You're gorgeous. Your work is gorgeous. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about you as an artist. Do you have a website? I do. It's lucycookson.com. And I have most of my things there. And you can order prints from there because a lot of the things that are there have all already uh, been sold. And um, But we print. We print a lot. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Thank you Just so much. gorgeous. It's a lot of fun to interview with you. Let's. Yeah. I'd like to t interview you. Maybe you will one day. Let's do an air kiss, darling. Thank we'll be, you. Thank you, and we'll be back with more interviews right here in the I Hamptons. Would, I would love it. Pink Thank champagne God. kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. Keep watching. More celebrity interviews coming up right here at Cognac's Corner Magazine dot com. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa We're here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, and I'm here in this fantastic booth. It's amazing. Sayville Studios. It's gorgeous artwork, and I'm speaking to the artist herself. Right. This is really amazing. So this is all your artwork. This is all mine. Do you have a gallery? I do. It's located in Atlanta. Oh, fabulous. Is this your first time showing here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair? This is my second year. I'm happy to return, and it's just been an amazing weekend so far. Did you sell anything? Oh, yes. Well, you have gorgeous artwork, really, really beautiful. What do you think of this uh, Hampton? What do you think of the Hamptons scene? Do you like it? I absolutely look forward to it every year. It's been a long time coming for me, and um, just so thrilled to be exhibiting in the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, but also to experience the community and culture up here. It certainly is a fabulous place to come. Definitely. In the summertime, I can, I can contest to that. I do amazing interviews with all the events here. There's so many wonderful things to see and do in the Hamptons in Long Island. But enough of that. I want to hear more about you. Now, how many pieces of art do we have here in this gallery? So I am, I have 18 pieces that I brought with me. Um, thank you, Delta, for getting them here safely on the plane. That was an amazing adventure in and of itself. And uh, I can imagine. Yeah. So I have um, quite a few more pieces in Atlanta and also in my studio in Miami as well. So you have a studio in Miami too? Wow. Yeah. So Atlanta and Miami. That's right. That's Are right. You be showing at Art Basel this year? I will be. I will be in Spectrum. Fabulous spectrum. That's wonderful. Yes. How do you compare our basil to this? Is there a comparison? You know what? It's the two biggest shows in the U.S. is what I would call that. And it's so much fun. You know, my career and my job are the most fun. And um, and so the, the two are just a wild party week. Absolutely. Tell my audience, why do you love art so much? 
Oh gosh, I started painting when I was very young and uh, never stopped. So this September is going to be my 20th year in business as a full-time painter. Well, you're gorgeous, darling. Oh, thank you. Now tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about you and your fabulous art. You bet. SavilleStudios.com. And your name? Kate Saville. Kate Saville. Beautiful, like the name of the studio. There you go. Let's do an air kiss, darling. We'll be back with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Walla Lane, and we are here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair. And I'm here with this gentleman who is part of this gallery. Introduce yourself to the camera. Oh, I'm Clark Gallery out of Boston, Mass. Uh, just outside of Boston, about 10 minutes. We're here at the Hamptons Art Fair with, you know, there's a lot of still lifes here and a lot of realism. You know, kind of a very distinctive booth. This is your gallery. Yes. Tell us, introduce yourself to the camera. My name's Dana Salvo. I've been in, an art dealer for a very long time and love art. My husband was enthralled with your gallery because he loves cars. This is an amazing piece of art, amazing. A, a very special Porsche engine. The artist has a, is very interested in the vehicles as well. And he was commissioned to do a painting of Michael Strahan's Porsche the car and when he and he paints from life so he went to a garage where the car was being worked on and they had taken the engine out because they were working on it and he saw it while he was painting the car he saw it while he was painting the car and was so fascinated by the object itself that he painted it but he has such a great attention to detail for example for example okay here's a bracket okay typical aluminum brushed beautiful surface However, he didn't just put brackets around every pipe. He looked at the brackets, and look at that bracket. It's curved. He, everything is very specific, very detailed, and right on, right on point. He also did the horse. But um, well, we love the car. Yeah, the car. That's what we're fascinated. My husband is fascinated Porsche, by the cars. Porsche aficionados, here you go. Get the engine, bring it home, hang it on your wall. Yes. We have other paintings. Grab the Holly Farrell painting. The, the cars, yeah. And, Tell uh, my audience, let's turn around. Tell my audience how many paintings are featured in your gallery in this booth right now. Uh, in this booth, which is a long booth, um, probably 80 pieces of art. Wow. Maybe. And if you like cars, here's another lovely car painting by Holly Farrell. She's a painter that lives in Toronto. She is now look at this painting. Okay. She is self-taught, which is unheard of in this genre. Um, and she, all of these cars, she collects herself. She scrummages flea markets, thrift stores. Whenever she sees something that attracts her eye, the patina on the metal, whatever it might be, she'll acquire it and then paint it. It's, it's truly an amazing piece of art, yeah, oh, that is. Incredible. How many cars did she, has, oh. does she have in that painting? Well, one, two, three, four. Quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit to well, count. Forty cars, I think. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. Where is your gallery located uh, again? I'm just outside Boston in Lincoln, Massachusetts. Fabulous. If you know Massachusetts. It's Boston, Arlington, Cambridge, Lincoln. Do you have a website that we could go to? www.clockgallery.com. You're gorgeous. Let's do an air kiss. We'll be back, darlings. More interviews right here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane. We're here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair. And I'm here with this fabulous artist. And of course, she painted this amazing painting behind us, which is being featured on the website of the Hamptons Fine Art Fair. So, First of all, introduce yourself to the camera. My name is Rosanna Romero. 
Explain to my, this looks like you. It almost looks like you a little bit. A little bit. This isn't, it's not me. It is one of my family members. Is it really? Mm, yeah. Such a beautiful painting. Tell my audience the inspiration behind this painting. Yeah, so this piece, um, it has a lot of references to my country. I'm from Colombia. So it shows the coffee farms, the banana farms, the Magdalena River. It has references to all of the history that we've gone through. So it's all about the, the lushness and, you know, how the Amazon, how we're connected to the Amazon and the mountains. It's beautiful. Your country is a very beautiful place. I've never been there, but I've seen beautiful pictures, amazing pictures, um, photos and videos of your country. And it's it, you're very spiritual people too. Yes, yes, yeah. We do talk. Uh, this piece has a lot to do with mythology and spirituality as well. I use a lot of uh, folklore to tell stories. Yeah, just amazing. It's truly amazing. How many pieces of art is in this booth that's yours? I would say so. This whole corner, basically everything you see, which is like one, two, three, four, five, six. How does it feel to be featured in the catalog? Um, I, I think, you know, I feel really special. I feel like there's so much good work here, so I'm glad that they chose mine. <laughs> well, it's outstanding. Your artwork is truly beautiful. Do you have a website that we could go to? Yeah, absolutely. So it's my full name. It's www.rosannaromero.com. Spell R-O-S-S-A-N-A-R-O-M-E-R-O. -S -S -E You're gorgeous. Thank you. Let's do an air kiss. More interviews right here in the Hamptons, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willow Lane. We're here at the Hamptons Fine Art Fair, and I'm in front of this spectacular painting. And I'm talking to the artist that created this gorgeous painting. It's just the most beautiful painting here in the Hamptons, really, at this Hamptons Fine Art. I'm in love with this painting. Introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Anna Razumovskaya, uh, based in Canada. First of all, thank you. Thank you for a beautiful introduction. I feel very I'm so thankful. I am so in awe of this painting. It is the most beautiful painting I've seen here. I just, it's just my taste. I'm just in love with this painting. Tell my audience what inspired you to create a painting like this? It's all about female form and um, I would say I'm trying to portray beautiful wo women with a strong personality, talented, vulnerable, fragile, with a strong inner being and I think if you can sense it, if you can resonate to it, my work is done. Now this is in your gallery, is this your gallery? We, we be, we've been presented by La Mantia Gallery, and uh, my name is Anna Razumovskaya. And, uh, Russian? Uh, Canadian, I would say Canadian, yeah, from Toronto, yeah. Just beautiful. What? Tell my audience what went into creating a painting like this. How long did it take you to create this? Uh, usually it's collection, collection of five, ten pieces at the same time. So this is the bigger one, and I would do a few smaller ones. I would say it's a few months, but the idea might take years yeah. from the idea to the result, to the finished paintings. Yeah. Amazing. How many pieces of art do you have in the gallery? Uh, six, six pieces, yeah. They're all phenomenal. That one is gorgeous too. I that love one this is color. I oh my this God, it's so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm yeah, very proud. If we want to follow you, can we follow you on Instagram? Absolutely, Inter absolutely. On Instagram? Yes, Anna Razumovskaya. Your paintings oh, are amazing. Thank you. Unbelievable. Let's do an air kiss, darling. <laughs> we'll be back with more interviews right here in the Hamptons, darlings. Pick champagne kisses. Hello, darling. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulous.
fancy dress to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life dining in the finest restaurants eating the best caviar for free and no matter how much I eat cognac ooh ooh I sip cognac ooh 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 in a crybaby productions darlings